But we're back to corporate commentary and Greenlam is the next stock on our radar. Now, Greenlam Industries has been uh, buzzing around after what seems like a pretty solid performance for the first quarter. The company saw good margin expansion on a year-on-year -year basis with its laminates division reporting near 6% volume growth. The veneer division was also cutting back on losses. To get a sense of what lies ahead and to uh, talk about the company's plans, we have with us the MD and uh, CEO, Saurabh Mittal. Uh, Mr. Mittal, thanks very much for joining in. Good to have you on the show this morning. So I think the first thing that the market has really liked at a headline level is the margin expansion that you've managed to exhibit in the first quarter. Your margin, I think, has moved to almost 12%, uh, if I remember correctly, 12.5% actually. That's a, that's a good show. The question is, uh, are these kind of margin levels sustainable? You're also getting a whole amount of capex on stream, a lot of new plants, including some, some of your greenfield plants. They yeah. are, have either already come on stream or will do so in the rest of this year. So what That's will right. this mean for uh, the top line and for margins? So on the margin front, in Q1, gross margin expanded to nearly 52%. And um, we couldn't, uh, we had our highest production in a single quarter of laminates, but we couldn't convert uh, lots of it to sales because of the cyclone and disturbance from the Mundra port. Uh, so really, uh, the numbers would have been slightly better in terms of margins. So the current levels of margins in Q1 are sustainable, we think. And uh, we have costs you know, of raw materials nearly being stable. We have shipping costs, which have come down both for imports uh, and for exports. And so I, I think the margins will be sustainable. Uh, as far as the KPEX is concerned, uh, in, in last quarter, we started our third production line at, at the Gujarat factory. We started the commercial production of the plywood factory at Tamil Nadu. And within Q2, we're expecting to commence production of the laminates uh, plant at Andhra Pradesh, which is a phase one. And the phase two of particle boards, we're hoping to, you know, uh, start that in within Q4 of this financial year. So, so that's on the uh, new plants, greenfield projects. So more or less things are moving uh, on schedule with slight delays here and there. So, so that's on the KPEX front. Did I answer uh, your, your questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you pretty much did. I just wanted to also understand that with so much of fresh CapEx now coming on stream, right. what's right. the kind of volume growth uh, that you will target across different segments? If you could just run us through that, because all these new plants have uh, started uh, right. coming into ac action. So I think when I was at, your, at one of the shows uh, uh, last, last, uh, last time, so we had said uh, revenue growth for this year will be like a 20-25%, and, and we maintained that. And this will come in from the existing capacities, will come in from the new capacity at Gujarat. Uh, the plywood factory will also contribute to it, Tamil Nadu. There'll be some capacities coming in of Andhra Pradesh. So, so I think it'll be a contribution from the existing businesses which are already into production and the newer you know, uh, capacities which are coming in stream in financial year 24. So it'll be, it'll be a mix of uh, you know, from both, both these uh, you know, areas where numbers will come in. Uh, any chance you'll be able to give us what the revenue growth will be X of the incremental capacity? Just want to understand how much that will add to your top line. So, so my guess is uh, X of incremental capacity, we should be like a 15 to 18% kind of a growth level. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. And you did say that the, in the laminates division that your production was record, but you couldn't ship everything out. I think there's a, about a 20 crore uh, impact due to Cyclone Biparjoy. Uh, even That's in the right. month of July, we've had incessant, relentless rain. Uh, right. Has there been any impact in the current quarter? No, not not on the export front. Uh, I think uh, the backlog got regularized, and so so no impact of that is visible uh, in in July month as far as exports are concerned. Uh, obviously, in the domestic market, where, wherever there's lots of rain, there could be some challenges of you know domestic sales getting slightly disturbed, but nothing of any consequence actually. Okay, got that. Uh, could you also take us through what the export breakup is right now and uh, how much do you expect it to contribute as well? So the export business is about uh, roughly 50% of our overall laminate sales and we think that will continue uh, in this year too. So I think we probably will have uh, the similar you know, breakup between domestic and exports in financial 24 too. Okay, got that. We were also talking about your new capacities. Could you just take us through what the peak performance of these new capacities could look like? And also, uh, when can we get to peak performance here? Right. So, uh, if you look at the Gujarat plan, that for, for the current investments done, the peak capacity revenue would be about 250 crores. 
Uh, the plywood factory can generate about 400 crores of revenue. So Gujarat plan, we expect that by FI24 and FI25, we can be at the peak uh, utilization there of the invested uh, amounts. Uh, in Tamil Nadu, we're expecting the full capacity to be achieved by maybe FI26. And Andhra Pradesh will also be like a FI26 for the laminates. So probably like, so since the uh, moment we start, like about three years, you know, it'll probably mm. take us to reach near full capacity. Mm. Plywood is a new business for you, right? The Tamil Nadu plant where you're saying you'll uh, right. reach, uh, the revenue potential is northwards of 400 crores. That's so right. what's the positioning going to be like over there? Because it's, it's a competitive market. You're not the first mover, but uh, I'm guessing it's a big enough market, which is why you're getting sure. in. Absolutely. So south, uh, so uh, with the Tamil Nadu factory, we're only targeting this uh, southern India markets. And uh, South uh, for Green Lamb Industries is the largest market. It's also the largest branded plywood market in the country. And uh, we have a good network with the existing business of nearly 7,500 to 8,000 dealers. So uh, we are in the process of setting up the network right now. Uh, the product quality which we are going to produce is, uh, so the plywood plant is India's single largest capacity plant and the most modern plant as on date in the country with 100% plywoods being uh, produced which are going to be calibrated with a you know, for process of pressing, et cetera. And the initial feedback from channel partners, whatever have been appointed, has been very encouraging. So uh, really, and and then the brand uh, for the plywood uh, is being called as Mikasa Ply, and a tagline is a no-nonsense ply. So, uh, so <laughs> our thing is really, we're going to come out with great quality, give you the right quality, and not, uh, you know, over-promise and under-deliver. And, uh, and we have good takers uh, for, for the plywood, just so really, Plywood is a simple business if you run it correctly. And that's what we are intending to do with the plywood business. What would be the gross margins on the plywood business? So and how would it compare once, with your... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so once it stabilizes, uh, my my understanding as of now is that the gross margin plywood should be like a 45 to 48%, depending on the mix we achieve. So it'll take us time to get to kind of streamline the right product mix get the, you know, uh, streamline the plan, streamline the market. So I think it should be in the 45 to 48 percent. One or two percent here and there, reduction or addition can happen depending on the raw material cost and the uh, product mix we end up achieving from our factory. Okay, uh, no nonsense, Ply. I'm <laughs> sure you're going to catch the market's attention with that one. Anyway, I think plywood uh, advertising ends up being uh, pretty edgy. So I guess uh, Green Lamb is going to be in sync with the market over there. Just very quickly, uh, you know, as we sign out, Mr. Mithil, uh, say two years down the line when all your capacities have fully come on stream, FI26, what's the revenue mix that we can expect between laminates, veneers, uh, your you know, particle board, and obviously plywood? So uh, FI26, assuming these capacities get streamlined, we think the revenue will be somewhere like a 3,500 to 3,600 crores. So, you know, which will be plywood can contribute about 400 crores, uh, particle work will be like a, maybe five, 600, the veneer business, and the balance will come from the veneer and the laminates business. Okay. All right, yeah. uh, got that. Good luck with those plans. Thank you very much for uh, joining in uh, and giving us some more details on the business. That is Green Lamb, and uh, they have had a pretty solid show in the first quarter, and the stock is reacting very well to those numbers. Take